The story of Erlik, the Mongol god of death. Olgin is the god of light and creation in Mongolian mythology. When he found the world too boring, he decided to breathe life into a block of land to create the first human. That is Erlik, the Mongol taste. When creating Erlik his first child, Olgin tried to do the best he could. And he did so well. Although Erlik is only a human, he has all the abilities of a god. He was chosen by Olgin to be his assistant, helping him create the world. However, Erlik was not very satisfied with his role as Olgin's assistant and errand boy. Once while Olgin dropped a block of land he intended to use to create a continent into the sea, he sent Erlik down to retrieve it. Erlik picked up a block of soil, but conveniently, took, a lump of soil in his mouth, to create a new land for himself. However, when Olgin cast a spell to expand the soil to create a continent, the soil in Erlik's mouth also expanded, causing him to choke and force him to spit out the soil. Those lands became swamps on the continent. Gradually, Erlik became more and more dissatisfied with Olgin. He denied Olgin's authority, declaring himself a god to rule the world. As a result, Erlik was sent to the hellish world deep underground by Olgin. Erlik became the god of hell, darkness, evil and death, with a deformed face like a monster. As for Olgin, he continued to create new people, but they were all much weaker than the first product because he was worried they would turn against him. And the one that pleased him the most was Maiduri, the eighth product. Maiduri, while bored, came up with the idea of creating women. Maiduri himself created a body for the woman, but could not create life. He went to find Olgin to learn how to breathe soul, and left a dog to watch. Erlik waited for Maiduri to leave, then lured the dog away. Seeing the woman's form, Erlik blew seven notes into her ear, creating life for the woman. However, Erlik also installed some bad qualities in her head to cause chaos. Legend has it that Erlik had seven sons and seven daughters. They all have beautiful appearances, but are inherently evil, becoming the embodiment of disasters that befall the world. There is a theory that he has nine sons including, Karish, god of darkness, Matter, god of courage, Shinge, god of chaos, Kamor, god of evil, Badish, God of Disaster, Yabash, God of Defeat, Tamir, God of Mining, Uchur, God of Messengers, Kuri, God of Discord. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.